Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, scholars and dignitaries, welcome to another episode. Welcome to my world. Hello, friends. So a lot of people used to think it was funny to get their pets high, but I'm telling you now that it isn't funny. At the very least, it can be distressful to your dog or cat, and at most, it can be toxic and even deadly. I personally know of one dog that found and ate some marijuana down at the local park. He started shaking, developed seizures, and collapsed in a sort of a coma and was unresponsive. He was taken into the animal hospital and they administered an IV. And in a few hours, the dog was back on his feet. But yes, he could have died. Veterinarians today are reporting that more animals than ever are being brought in for the treatment because of marijuana. Both animals who are exposed to marijuana on purpose, as well as those who are exposed to it by accident. In fact, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals has found that since 2019, there was a 765% increase in calls to the Poison Control Center for pets that have been exposed to cannabis, mostly dogs, but cats as well. While studies going back several decades have shown that large amounts of marijuana can cause hazards to animals, including severe central nervous system depression, hyperactivity, chronic convulsions, and cumulative toxicity, and yes, even death. And again, we knew that the doses which were administered back then were much higher than those for human consumption, and while not typical, they did demonstrate behavioral, clinical, hematological, and hemochemical changes, as well as induced inflammation in the cerebellum, which resulted in learning and coordination problems. And interestingly, this toxicity to animals is probably one of the reasons that animals refuse to self-administer THC. They avoid it. But again, dogs are known for eating a wide variety of foods and snacks, including marijuana cookies, brownies, or other edibles laced with marijuana. So it may be worth a further note to say that marijuana use is not a natural instinct to an animal, but rather a learned behavior, and perhaps to man too. And with marijuana use more common than ever today, vets across the country are warning users to be sure to prevent exposure of marijuana to their pets. Vets are finding that increasingly, pets are being brought to them in toxic conditions. And again, while a person may not die from marijuana use, Pets can and do. What further complicates this is that some people believe it is funny to get their dog stoned, but not only is this not funny, it's now considered to be pet abuse. All marijuana products, plant material, oils, resin, gummies, and even secondhand smoke can be toxic to your pet. THC is toxic and exposure to marijuana can result in a very sick animal. So similar to human intoxication, THC is rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream of animals and signs of marijuana toxicity become apparent anywhere from within minutes to a few hours. But rather than a high that they enjoy, animals experience distress from the toxicity, including neurologic abnormalities like stumbling that may progress to an inability to walk, depression, agitation, dribbling urine, twitching, seizures, pupil dilation, and occasionally coma. And about 30% of animals exposed to THC will develop gastrointestinal signs, including drooling, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some animals become highly agitated from marijuana, while others exhibit outward signs of depression. Some may experience seizures and tachycardia. Others show signs of lethargy, diarrhea, stupor, and acting strange, like making strange vocalizations. Approximately one-third of animals exposed to marijuana will develop signs of nausea and vomiting, and while rare, again, death can occur. Vets say that these effects are more immediate, but may last for days as the THC is slowly released from cells and metabolized. And depending upon the circumstances, the vets may try to give medications to induce vomiting or to help limit further absorption of THC. The pet may even need hospitalization and care, including IV fluids and monitoring of vital signs. Again, depending, more aggressive care may also be needed. Finally, animals that have been chronically administered THC can suffer a range of withdrawal syndromes, including Paul tremors, hyperexcitability, 
wet dog shakes, and other disorganized behavior. Vets caution to keep marijuana away from pets, and in instances of suspected THC ingestion, they recommend that you call or take them in and be honest with a vet. If you're concerned that your pet ingested marijuana, contact your vet or call the 24-hour Animal Poison Control Center. It's not funny to give a pet marijuana. A pet does not get high. At the very least, it can be a bad trip, a terrifying and disturbing experience for the animal. And at most, ingestion can be dangerous, even life-threatening. Hey, be safe, be well, and remember, marijuana is not a safe drug, either for humans or for animals.